Have you been briefed by the CDC? I have. Are the words about a pandemic at this point? No, we're not at all, and uh, we're we have it totally under control. It's one person. We have very little problem in this country at this moment. Five. So far, we have six here. We have eleven, and uh, the eleven are getting better. We have eleven cases, and most of them are getting better. We only have eleven cases, and they're all getting better. We have twelve cases, eleven cases, and uh, many of them are in good shape. We only have basically 12 cases and most of those people are, are recovering. It's like around 12. Many of them are getting better. We had 12 at one point and now they've gotten very much better. We had essentially 12 people. Many of them are getting better. We're really down to probably 10. We have a total of 15. We have 15 people in this country. We have 15 people in this massive country. We have a total of 15 people and uh, they're in a process of recovering 15 people and they're recovering. We have a total of 15 cases, most of whom are fully recovered. Of the 15 people, the original 15, as I call them, uh, eight of them have returned to their homes, to stay in their homes until fully recovered. Thankfully, 15 are either recovered fully or they're well on their way to recovery. And the 15 people are either better or close to being better. We have 15 people who are almost all better. 15 people and they're getting better. Yeah. 15 people, yeah. they're getting better. We're talking about 15 who seem to be all getting better. One is questionable. The 15 of the 15, most of them are doing very well. The 15 people, likewise, we have them down to a much lower number. We're going to be pretty soon at only five people. And the 15 will soon be down to three or four. The 15 within a couple of days is going to be down to close to zero. We have 22 patients in the United States currently. 22 people right now in this whole very vast country. Uh, we have 149 cases as of this moment. This morning was 129. Right now it's about 149 cases. We have 240 cases. Most of those people are going to be fine. Now what we're going to do is as people get better, because we have, you know, most of these people are getting better. Uh, we're going to take them off the list. We take them off the list as they get they better. Get as they get better, we take them off the list so that we're going to be pretty soon at only five people. And we could be at just one or two people over the next short period of time. Coronavirus expanding and the cruise ship stranded. Tension on that Grand Princess cruise ship 50 miles off San Francisco. At least 21 on board testing positive for the virus. We do have a situation where we have this massive ship with a lot of Americans on it. It's got 5,000 people on it. It's a massive ship and, you know, they want to come in. So we have to make a decision because we have very low numbers compared to major countries throughout the world. Our numbers are lower than just about anybody. If it were up to me, I would be inclined to say, leave everybody on the ship for a period of time and you use the ship as your base because i like the numbers being where they are i don't need to have the numbers double because of one ship i'd rather have them stay on personally but i fully understand if they want to take them off i gave them the authority to make the decision Isn't that putting preference over not having more attractive numbers no over no no i'm saying whatever it is that takes precedence over the numbers. No, I like the numbers. I would rather have the numbers stay where they are. They would like to have the people come off. I'd rather have the people stay. You know, again, that's a big decision. Do I want to bring all those people on? People would like me to do that. I don't like the idea of doing it. When they do that, our numbers are going to go up. Okay, our numbers are going to go up. So it makes the numbers look worse. The numbers are small when you're talking around 100 people, but we brought in approximately 40 people. And I knew that when I bring them in, immediately our numbers get higher. We brought them in, we immediately quarantined them, but you're adding that to the numbers that we had, which were very small. And a big percentage of all we have is when we brought in the 40 or so people from the ship. We brought them in, which I felt we had to do. So they immediately said, it jumped from 15 to an extra 40. <laughs> right. you know, headline. And everyone said, no, we brought them in, Jack, because if we didn't, I mean, we're not going to let something happen. We had to do it. Because they're Americans, we had to take care of them. They're Americans. I mean, I could say, don't let them into the country, but these are Americans, and they were literally stranded. They were sick, and they're Americans, and they're uh, great people. You know, what are you going to do? Because they're Americans, I mean, what are we going to do? I felt we had to do it, and in one way, I hated to do it statistically. I hated to do it from the standpoint of having people coming in that's going to, you know, is it going to look bad? I wasn't worried about uh, 
the the other people catching it very much. The biggest uh, impact we had was when we took the 40 plus people. And I knew immediately that the press would add it in and say this like it's catastrophic. You add that to the numbers, but if you don't add that to the numbers, we're talking about very small numbers in the United States. It's, you know, a very, very small number in this country. When you look at the small numbers that we're talking about within this country, they're very, very small. We have a very small number of people in this country. We have very low numbers compared to major countries throughout the world. Our numbers are lower than just about anybody. When you look at other countries, it's a, a very tiny fraction. If you look at other countries, what they've been through, and you look at the kind of numbers and compare them to ours, which is a much larger country than most, uh, uh, the numbers are pretty amazing. So far, we have lost nobody. We haven't lost anybody yet. We've lost nobody. We've had no deaths. There have been no deaths in the United States at all. Unfortunately, one person passed away overnight. In terms of deaths, I don't know what the count is today. Is it 11? We've had 11 deaths, and they've been largely old people. 11 people versus tremendous numbers of thousands of people that have died all over the world. We have 11. Right now, I guess we're at 26 deaths. 26 deaths, 26 deaths at this time. What is the, the number as of this morning? Is it 32? You can tell me, is it 32 deaths? We have 40 people right now, 40. Compare that with other countries that have many, many times that amount. We've lost uh, 50, possibly a little bit less than 50, but probably 50 people. We have 50 deaths, which is, uh, a lot of good decisions were made, or that number could be many times that, but that's based on a lot of good decisions. And when you do the steep curve, a lot of people are going to die. A lot of people.